Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of October the 19th through to the 25th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Saggy. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Temperance in the upright, followed then by the Ten of Wands reversed. Next, we have the Five of Swords in the reverse. Followed then by the Six of Swords upright. And lastly, we have the Six of Wands upright. So for your overall energy, Sag, you have the Sag energy. You have the temperance in the upright position. You're coming up in your own reading in the upright position. This is good news. Whatever it is you're doing this week, Sag, you're on the right track. You are definitely mixing and blending. There's cooperation abound for you. So this is really good news for any of you. Say, for example, if you're starting a new job. It could be that you're fitting in beautifully. You're fitting in really, really well with the people, your surroundings and people you're working with. Good news for any of you who are putting together a social event or something like that. I call it my baker's card. This is mixing and blending things really well, even things that don't normally fit together. It could be that it's just clicking. It's just working. It's just magic for you this week. Also, the temperance is very healing energy and um, and and can be even a little spiritual energy. So maybe some of you are bringing in spirit from above into, you know, channeling spirit from above to be able to mix and blend things beautifully this week. So if anybody puts you in charge of something like that, whether it be a social event or a work situation or what have you, you will be coming across so excellent this week sag nobody can touch you in that department you'll be just like you'll be magic you'll be on point so coming at the beginning of the week we do see the ten of wands here in the reverse position i'm happy to see it reversed as opposed to upright when it's in the upright position this kind of um point to an excessive load this is where we're carrying an oppressive load an excessive load where we're doing too much sometimes this can come up when uh, we just keep taking on more and more things like say our co-worker says to us oh can you help me out here I won't be available this week because I'm not feeling well or I'm going to be off and can you take my workload sure why not or family members or friends or neighbors ask us to take on extra duties that can result in the Ten of Wands in the upright position. We're trying to be nice, we're trying to be helpful, we're trying to be agreeable, and we're taking on all these extra things. But the problem is, it's in, is that we can end up succumbing to the, um, the, the, the weight and the, the burden of this. So it's always good to see this energy inverted because this is where we're releasing those burdens. For some of you, maybe the burden is being released from you. Say, for example, if, you know, a coworker did have to take some time off and you were picking up the slack, maybe they're back now. Or if a neighbor asked you to look after their property or their animal or something when they were out of town, maybe they're back now. It's that kind of thing. Family members putting extra pressure on you again and maybe it's just being released or it could be that you have decided to and rightly so delegate because maybe uh at your work or even in your social circles or family could have been putting too much pressure on you sad and maybe you're just saying no enough's enough i'm going to delegate this or i'm just going to say no which is good it's always good to be able to say no if we feel overburdened and it's it's the right thing to do because it's not good to put ourselves in jeopardy in order to help other people because if we know our limits and say no we can't do this or i can't deal with this right now because i have my own things going on people that you're talking to if they care about you you know or if they're being fair here they will you know let you off the hook Make sure a lot of times, especially females, tend to want to help and take on, take on, take on. But if it's going to put you into this energy where your back is breaking over the situation, it's not good. It's not good in the long run for anybody. So take your time out, delegate when you can, and know when enough is enough. The next card up is the Five of Swords in the reverse position. The Five of Swords upright can point to when um, we're, you know, this could be where we're, 
you know, in conflict with ourselves. Sometimes, sometimes we're of two minds of something or heart versus head and, you know, we're having that conflict. And sometimes the five of swords can be when we're in conflict with others, family members, uh, a group of friends, co-workers, what have you. But when the card is inverted, this is where it's finally coming to an end. So maybe some of you had, um, had issues with, uh, maybe it was family members or friends putting too much pressure on you, Sag, and you said no, and the conflict comes to an end. Or maybe you yourself just do not feel like I'm conflicted any longer because maybe, you know, the the burden has been released. So you don't feel like you've been, you know, you're compromised anymore. So moving on towards the weekend, we have the beautiful energies here of the Six of Swords in the upright position. This is where we're moving on. Could be metaphorically, it could be literally, because sometimes the Six of Swords is where we're traveling. We could be moving towards... Um, uh, maybe a goal, maybe we're trying to accomplish a goal and we need to move. It could be moving houses, moving offices, could be moving across the country, you know, whatever the case may be. It could be moving on from emotional difficulties, right? So that could be what's happening to some of you. Maybe you're just moving on from something or a situation or a relationship that caused a big burden. You know, sometimes relationships can just be a big burden, whether they be friend, close friendships, you know, romantic relationships or whatever, even uh, family relationships. Sometimes there's too much pressure being put on the person and they can become a burden. And then once it becomes burdensome, it's not good. It's not good for anybody involved. And this could just be you moving on from that situation, or it could just be you like literally moving. Maybe you need to travel somewhere. Maybe you need to go, you know, take a break after all of this, you know, obsessive uh, burden. Maybe you need to take a break. Maybe you need to, you know, take a weekend off or just go somewhere or just do something different just to get away from that and maybe recharge your batteries, right? And the last card you have up is the beautiful Six of Wands in the upright position. This is the card that represents victory, a lot of attention being bestowed upon us. This is pats on the back, work well done, kudos to you. This could be a lot of attention being bestowed upon us. Makes sense if you're taking a trip, say maybe some of you live, your hometown is a ways from where you live. Maybe you're taking a trip to your hometown and people are there to ready to bring a lot of attention on you and to be happy to see you, that kind of energy. Or there could be a huge victory waiting for you at the end of this road here that you're doing. It could be some of you are culminating a, a work project or a business project and it all kind of comes to a head at the end of the week and you are the, vic the victor in this situation. <laughs> so that is your reading, Sagittarius. I really hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.